CBS 2's Jay Jackson was on the scene when it actually happened, and he's live tonight to begin our team coverage. Jay. Paul, we're about to show you some amazing exclusive pictures of this mountain coming down, but before that happens, let me show you what's happening right now. Take a look behind me. You can see this mountainside on top of at least four homes from what we can tell back there. The story of that commercial break is it's over. Leslie, what exactly does censure mean? It means that I have been formally disciplined for breaking the law. Well, you know what they say. You break it, you buy it. R.J. Jackson is on a search and recovery boat. Today, he was the first reporter, as well as last night, to get that close to the crash. He joins us now with the latest on what is happening. Jay? That's right. We're about a mile away from the main search area here, about two miles north of the Anacapa Islands. And I can tell you, this is still a very intense search going on right here. Take a look behind me, one of the main Navy destroyers. In a stunning revelation, Mayor Melba Walker Shannon has been arrested by the DA for corruption charges oh, yeah. stemming from the Granton at Salter development. KCAL 9's Jay Jackson is live in San Inez with details. Jay? Mia, unbelievable scene this morning here outside of Neverland. As you know, it's very quiet out here, but earlier today around 8.30, dozens of squad cars pulling into the Neverland Ranch. Take a look behind me. Our first topic and issue number one is this new ban on smoking in the public in Pawnee. What does it mean for smokers and will they still be able to smoke? Joan. Several years ago, students in South Central Los Angeles took to the streets protesting the lack of college and career choices available to them after graduation. But that sparked one local man to do something about it. So on again. Excuse me, Lieutenant. No comment. We have reports there were dozens of bodies found in that underwater gravesite. Not dozens. The boss's sweater melons look bigger on TV. The operative word is boss. Show some respect. Right thought I was. One dozen, two dozen? Eighteen or so, excuse me. Have the families been notified? KCAL 9's Jay Jackson is live in Anaheim with what's happening right now. Jay. Rob, we're on La Palma and Acacia, where this scene is still a very active scene. Take a look behind me. You can see police cars are lined up here on La Palma, and you're looking west on La Palma right now. Earlier today, there was a scene that was a near riot as police. It's 6.04 a.m., and I'm purred happily of Channel 4 Eyewitness News. And the story of this next dance is that it's called The Worm. <laughs> Good morning. This is a large urban search and rescue effort going on right now. What we understand, one person is dead, six people injured, four of those critically, and six people are missing. Right now they have a number of high-tech crews with long-distance underground cameras in there looking for people under that rubble. But as I mentioned, we saw some exclusive pictures this morning, and here they are. Get out of here! No, I am not. It's coming down. Just amazing pictures here. Once again, one person died in this catastrophe. That's what we know so far. Six people are missing. Six are injured, taken to the hospital, four of them critically. We were on the scene covering a story of a mudslide that had shut down the 101 when we saw those pictures, and we were standing less than 100 yards away from that disaster at the moment it happened. So I can tell you it was extremely terrifying seeing that dirt coming down the hill. It was almost like it was liquid dirt coming down the hill, and it wasn't going to stop, but fortunately it did stop. Up. Now, we have talked to a number of people in this area, including a gentleman who had just got off work. He is a nurse at Santa Barbara Hospital, and he is also a hero. I, was, I just got home from work. I'm a nurse in the emergency room in Santa Barbara. I just got home. I'm just going to go for a ride around the neighborhood to see all the mud. And heard it, looked up, uh, saw the mountain pop loose. I don't know what I thought. I just rode my bike as fast as possible over here and ran on up. Found, um, found two people. Um, they got one young girl out. Just moments ago, there was a dumpster fire out here. There was uh, citizens that had shut down the street. Now police have cleared that out. But here's the video from earlier today, which can only be described as frightening. 
chaos and violence in the streets of Anaheim. Anaheim police firing rubber bullets confront a crowd of terrified children, parents and angry residents near La Palma and Acacia. Then one officer unleashes a snarling police dog which attacks a mother holding her child and this bystander. They just started shooting and I was with my son and they, the dog just came. This is the man that was on the floor. He was the man on the floor and they shot the dog. Hey, 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 hey. Talk about what happened. They just released the dog and I had my baby and my, and my, um, <laughs> and my stroller and the dog just scratched me with his teeth and then just grabbed me. It all started around four o'clock this afternoon when police shot this man known in the community as Stomper. Police say he was one of three men who took off running when they approached him earlier in the afternoon. What exactly happened during the shooting, we don't know. We're still investigating that. But the shooting occurred and the, uh, the male was taken to a local hospital. But neighbors who saw the shooting say police overreacted. Then they confronted the officers demanding answers. That's when the pandemonium broke out. We just started shooting again. No, we don't have no guns, nothing. I just got scared. I just saw a water bottle get thrown in the air. They just started shooting everyone. They shot a little kid too. And back live once again, you're looking west on La Palma. This is where police have just broken up a small protest where some citizens had set up a dumpster fire and even shut down the street. Now out here, there were dozens of people who had their cell phones and at least four different people told me that police officers offered to buy their video from them without any explanation. Of course, that's all part of this investigation as it continues to develop out here in Anaheim. Once again, Jay Jackson, KCAL 9 News, back to the studio. CBS 2's Jay Jackson was there tonight as a world-renowned blues and jazz singer Singer drew quite a crowd. Snooks Lawson rides again. Jerry Cattell made millions of dollars as a real estate developer, but his passion is acting, and he's living a dream performing at the Barbara Morrison Performing Arts Center in historic Lamert Park Village. Lamert Park is a beautiful area to begin with, but uh, having a, uh, the Performing Arts Center as part of all the coffee shops and other things that are going in here, I think it's a really nice center for this community. I am so excited about putting our stage here for our concerts. This is Barbara Morrison, a jazz and blues legend who has performed around the globe with the likes of Ray Charles, Dizzy Gillespie, and Etta James. But she says opening her performing arts center in Lamert Park two months ago is a dream come true. A dream for Morrison and for the people of this community, especially the children. Sometimes when uh, the children go to concerts or they have to go a long way away, but now they can walk up to their heroes and touch them and touch the instruments and ask questions. They see them on TV sometimes and it doesn't seem real, but now they have a chance. The center is one of several high profile venues that is part of the rebirth of the area with the resurrection of legendary Mavericks Flat and the Vision Theater slated to reopen next year. Area leaders are hoping it will be a mecca of art and culture. Located on 43rd and Degnan near Crenshaw, the Performing Arts Center anchors a complex of galleries and restaurants in which owners have noticed a change. With um, Barbara now on the scene, we're seeing an influx of people coming in of uh, different nationality and it's um, helping business uh, quite a bit. People around here say the biggest problem isn't the drugs or gangs, it's the perception those are the biggest problems. But with an international singing legend right here on the corner, they hope that's about to change. Crime will be reduced because activity makes crime go away. It's a little jewel hidden and we need to, we need to expose it. From Lamert Park Village, Jay Jackson, CBS 2 News.